So today I'm going to show you how to create custom threads with tapered ends in Fusion 360. So to start I'm going to open up Fusion 360 and we're going to create a new sketch. This is just going to be a cylinder for the demonstration. So we're going to say this is 50 millimeters. It could be whatever size for your project you're working on. Now we're going to press finish sketch. We're going to extrude this up say 50 millimeters as well. And then, to create the threads, we're going to use a coil, so we're going to just place that on top, and it has a diameter of 50 millimeters. So, we're given this now, so it's actually on the cylinder, we're going to just drag it down, and we're going to scale the section size way down to, say, like, 3 millimeters. And now, the important thing when you want tapered ends is to use a section that is a square so say you want a circular profile or a triangular you can do that off of the square profile but to get the tapered ends we're gonna have to use a square profile to be able to do that now so we have this we can make sure it's set to outside or inside depending on your needs and then looks good we can press OK now to taper the ends we're going to select each of these each of the endpoints and we're going to press F or we're going to create a fillet and we're just going to drag it as far as you want your taper to go go a little further so that's good we can press OK and now say we want a circular profile we can select both of these edges of the coil and we can press F or click that to share, to fill it, it and now we can drag it and so the section size was three millimeters so we're going to go 1.49 because that's half of each side so now you can see we have a cylindrical profile with a tapered end, which is something you were not able to do if you just press the circular profile to begin with. So now say you want a triangular profile, so I'm just going to delete that for the demonstration, and we're going to go back, we can press chamfer, and we can select the top half, make sure this is set to 2 distance so you can get it all the way to the cylinder itself. So, I'm going to drag the first edge in to 2.99 because it will give you an error if you just go straight to 3. And this one will go 1.49 because it's almost half of 3. I'm going to press OK. That gives us the first half of this. Now we're going to go back select the bottom half of the coil and we're going to chamfer it again. We're going to drag this one in to 2.99 again, and we're going to go 1.49 for this one. Now you can see we have a triangular profile, we also have the tapered ends, and there was no difficult way of doing it. It's quite simple compared to a lot of the other methods that are out there.